Hello and welcome to the Dutch Polder map, map. I'm Andy and this is Farming Simulator 17. Now you might be wondering why I'm driving around in this field for because and the reason is that last time I played I got stuck in a ditch there and the only way to get me over was to push me with a class um, scorpion and push me sort of over to this side so now I'm trying to find a way back over the ditch there so I can continue to harvest this field basically uh, so that's what I'm doing I'm trying to find my way back I think that's a, a crossing point up here where I can get across and back back to that side hopefully I, I think I hope um, you need to cut a little bit I don't want to get stuck in the ditch again so I'm gonna do harvesting harvest this a bit one more lane at least that will prevent me from getting stuck in a ditch. Hopefully. I wish I had a wider. Actually, I wish this was wider. The header on this one. I'm slightly too small in my feel. It's my feel. Um, so this is episode three. So I haven't done a lot of episodes. Uh, three after the restart because I actually did did an episode on this before. Uh, or maybe this was more like a first look I did and then um, I didn't continue with it because I found other maps that were more interesting but uh, now I, I'm, I'm gonna do this let's play a little bit I'm still waiting for the Hofbergman version 1.0.0.3 to be released I've been waiting for that about a month now or so but uh, he who waits for something good doesn't wait too long I guess um, D has come oh come on and the thing is, this oh, actually might be good. Mm, could have been done. This is almost done planting this potato field, but not, not. Um, I don't know. There's slightly more here. Do this manually. Get the rest of it, and um, then I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and, and next day and plant the rest of the fields. Um, with potatoes. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure I will plant everything with potatoes because potatoes is. does quite take quite a lot of potatoes to. to plant before you can harvest it. I mean, we're gonna get a load of potatoes back, but it's sort of. not a labor. well, it, it is labor intensive crop too, but the problem I have is that is that I need to buy potatoes to plant. That's the main problem I have. I have to borrow money to buy potatoes, which I then will plant. And I did it so effort so nicely with the scorpion before, but now I sort of just basically back up and fill it up because it takes too long otherwise. So we'll just have this full up filled up and then we'll go over to the field where we're gonna start planting and we'll start planting when soon as we'll pretty soon. I'm gonna fast forward a bit. Take this over here. We're gonna do this at first light, so uh, where is it? There it is. So let me get this going so we can start continuous harvesting on its own with a hide worker. So let's go we need to go up there. You know you see the turn up ahead? Well, the left turn will go there, left turn, and then we'll continue with the harvest. And we can do that with hide work. We can fast forward till tomorrow, and then we can start actually planting some more potatoes. So there's a lot of planting going on on this map, I think. But first, I thought it was like a brilliant idea to do potatoes, because I never do potatoes. Now, I, I sort of feel that 
Mm, that's probably a reason why I don't do potatoes. It's probably because it does take quite a lot of work to plant them and it does take a lot of work to, to harvest them. Um, and you don't earn a ton of money from it, even though you get a lot of potatoes, you don't, it doesn't seem a good crop to get rich on. Um, so I'm having some, some second thoughts about this project, actually. But I've started it, so I might as well continue it. I feel like maybe this is too many fields. I, I, I don't know. I might just do one more field potatoes, and the, the f number one field in this field will do something else. But then again, we spend a lot of money on our uh, um, potato harvester, so we might as well. M we need to make that money back, and then we need. I think we should need to make a lot of potatoes, basically. We're almost up here. Up here, we'll continue our harvest. So this is where it got stuck. I think it gets stuck when it turns. Actually, I should do another lap down there. Just make sure it doesn't get stuck when it's time to turn around at this end of the of the field. The other one is okay because there's nothing there. It's just a road. But this sort of tends to get stuck there. So might as well do this little stretch here too. I will we'll clean up those areas later afterwards. We'll do four then I should be able to turn around without getting stuck in the ditch. It's the theory at least and I don't know. It's not a hundred percent sure and tested the theory, but it's a theory anyway. So we'll go down here and we'll actually we need maybe a little more. We do. Oh, I don't know. This is hard. I don't know. Actually. We'll see. We might get stuck there. Can could have used course play on this map on this field, but I didn't. It would probably be pretty okay, but now I've already i already not used cosplay, so might as well continue finish this with the hide worker. Oh, my kids are arguing in the background. I'm sorry about that. See, it's interesting to see if they will be able to resolve their conflict without needing me. A little unsure of that. Doesn't seem could be that they can resolve it themselves, but Maybe they did. Sometimes it's good. I mean, um, my daughter. I, I want my daughter, especially I, I, my son, not so much, but my daughter to be. I want her not a tough girl, but I want her to be able to stand up for herself and defend herself. And having a brother, a twin brother, is sometimes very helpful in that process. I think so. S quite a lot of times, I will actually leave them trying to resolve the conflicts themselves and. Um, he's got. She was much better verbally before. She so she he could, he she could out talk him pretty easily, but he's catching up. So um, it's not as easy for her to out talk him. Um, we'll see. She's gonna enter now. See what she will say about things. Ja, men ni förstår att om ni öppnar dem och äter dem så har ni inga andra sen. Och ni får inte äta dem i soffan för det är pulver. Köksbordet. Okej. Okay. Ja. Nej, okej. Okay. Ja, men då får ni. Du kan säga till Fred att hon får äta sin också. Men sen är det slut. Every discussion about Saturday candy. We eat Saturday candy, which I talked about on yesterday's episode on the aggregation map. But, um, oh, it's interesting. So let's fast forward till, till, oh, that's good. Maybe it's too long. Um, so we're need gonna do four laps because we need four laps, but otherwise it won't uh, work. Okay. Hmm? Uh, so yeah, I have to help my son here with his candy. Billy. Need to talk to you. Okay. 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 Okay.
Jag ska jag gå på två. Ja. Så. Ja. Det Okay, let's start this up. Lower. So we're gonna do four laps. The first one we're gonna do from the outside, so I can see where where we're planting. Four laps around the, uh, that track, and then we're gonna let it do use hard worker to complete the rest of it, which it should be able to do that when we do four laps. Uh, otherwise, the problem is w it will s most certainly drive into the ditch. So four laps leave us enough room to turn around without any problem. I think I, on the number two field there's an area where the, uh, you remember if you remember there's an area where there's a lot of fence around the cow pasture, not pasture, cow uh, facilities. We have cows and um, they got stuck in the fence all the time. So, But if I did four laps uh, around that area and then um, the hired worker can actually turn around the bit that I already planted, so that seems to work. So four laps seems to be good, good. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my glasses have some dirt on them. So I can see anything. Okay, so four laps seems to be a pretty good um, compromise when planting potatoes, at least. From the looks of it, seems to be working good. Don't know if we will have. We'll probably run into the problem at this end because it will pro complain that we are in the that we don't own this field and that sort of stuff. So, exactly. Does seem to plant somewhat okay anyway, so oh okay, that's good. I don't know why it, it, it seems to be hard for map makers to get it sorted out these things. As soon as we get around the first lap we can go in and drive around the lap using our ridge marker to follow. Now it's, com not, it's just complaining over there about not owning the map. When, when I tried cultivating it was a big problem because it left like small pieces everywhere did, that it didn't want to cultivate because it was complaining about it being someone else's land or that we didn't own it. Uh, so I had like back and drive back and forth a lot so that was pain. See up here at the end how it will react there. So four laps, I think, should be sufficient. Uh, let me know what you think about this map. Uh, have anyone else played? I mean, it's quite an old map. It's not an old map, but it's from spring 2017, so it's not a new map by any means. So has anyone out there actually played on it? And if you have played on it, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Uh, were the things you didn't like about it? What sort of things didn't you like about it? What sort of things did you like about it? Uh, interesting to find out what you think about it. Actually I can turn off the lights. Don't mind driving around with lights on. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then we'll do. We'll see if we'll do the uh, other field there. In that case, we need to buy some more potatoes again. Actually, I'm gonna go see. That's yeah, that's probably done. It does cause even if if you have hide work and even if it's empty, it just stands there. Not empty. Sorry, opposite. If it's full, it just stands there. It still costs money. So. It's good to keep an eye out on it and actually go empty it or not use hard working when it's stopped. So otherwise, that's quite a lot of waste of money. So quite a lot of soybeans here, which we can sell and then we'll 
will we repay our loan? So maybe buy some more potatoes. I guess we need more potatoes. So I don't know. I'm sorry for being quiet. I got, I don't know. I got so quiet. I got so focused. I'm so terribly sorry. I was like, "Hey, I'm still recording. Why? Why am I not talking?" It's like uh, I have to talk. Sorry about that. Uh, everyone goes like, "What did he go? Why is he doing?" And, and I'm just. This is sort of gives evidence to my uh, what my fiance keep keeps um, claiming, and that is that men can do two things at once. Actually, I claim that no one can do, neither men or women can do two things at once, unless they really are automated, which apparently it wasn't just a second day ago. Uh, it was not automated at all. So, mm, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, otherwise, that could have been good. So, basically, I'm going to try to plant these potato fields during this in day game. game. The sunflower is looking good. I wonder if we could get another level of fertilization on them actually. Fertilize and plowing. Actually, I do think we could. Let me take this over there. I'm, I'm all over the place now. I, I, I know. I realize that. But I think that maybe. So that's field number six, right? We'll go south east. We'll go west. Go one headland. We we'll start here. This map's such a cool I mean cool sprayer. I did try the horse sprayer yesterday, which is really cool too, but that's my much more money than this one is. I like this. This is Sort of like you would have on a farm. You wouldn't have been able to buy a, a hugely expensive sprayer. I think this is more realistic. Um, oh, it keeps turning off. Oh, sorry. Except. Just want to complete the first lap. So we'll, uh, I mean, if we get at least two levels of fertilization on that sunflower field, we'll get more sunflower. Uh, it's definitely worth the investment. I think I have. I don't know if, if I have. I I haven't seen anyone actually do any trials on that one. I do know that I saw an who was that? I could Dagwin or Ian Robson. I don't. Know. Someone, some of the great farming simulator YouTubers did an, an episode on, I think, FS15, where they actually looked at fertilizing different fields and harvesting them and selling them to see if you could make your money back. And you, uh, uh, but that was 15, so it's been quite some time, and maybe it works differently in 17. But 
in 15, I think they came to the conclusion that it doesn't really matter. If you, you fertilize it, you will get your money back. You, the, the amount of money you spay, spend on fertilizer, you will get that back in yield increase, but it wasn't like, an in, um, like a ratio. So, But that could be wrong. I, I could be misremembering too. I, I, I'm not, I'm just, as a caveat there, I, I'm not really sure. Um, but I think that uh, it wasn't a clear advantage of fertilizing you got more out of it but I didn't an increase in cost of course so so like 3,000 per lap a lot, of, a lot of potatoes on one lap so basically we should be able to do this from the inside then So if we follow this one, we'll get a new one there. And follow this one around the track, we'll get an even amount of potatoes. A good everything, a good coverage. Maybe. If this works. I'm not sure. I hope it works. Could be working. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so let's see. Going around the tracks. Uh, going around the track. Oh, I wonder if I'll get a copyright infringement on that one. I don't think I've gotten copyright infringements on humming sounds or humming songs. Uh, not yet, at least. I don't know. Maybe get algorithms of YouTube doesn't recognize my songs. Or the songs I'm singing. Or they're not actually copyrighted. Or uh, I guess everything is copyrighted, but maybe they're not. They're maybe they're too old to actually charge anything for it. I do, and I do understand the, the idea by, behind copywriting, and I, I do support authors being able to make money from the things they produce, but sometimes it seems like, at the same time, the, the industry, both the record industry and everything else, sh do need to try different ways of making money. Just, 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 uh, Continuing what they've done all through the time it doesn't seem to work. They more like seem like they're trying to hold on to something that's not going to be able to hold on to. Um, and I don't know. When I was young, I, di I didn't really want to pay for stuff because I didn't have much money. It's it was pretty simple. I, I did want to play games. I did want to use add-ons. I did want to use all of that stuff, but I didn't have money. Um, so that's why I did things before that it's I don't do that anymore but that's why I download these things um, and I know that was wrong uh, today I have money so I, I save money I have some money I'm not I'm not like rich I'm not making any money of this channel at least that's pretty sure uh, for sure uh, I think during the last one and a half years I made about 40 euros of this channel in, in revenue which I haven't gotten yet because it, I, I have a limit of it, 100 euros before it actually pays out to me so I probably have to pay tax on that too so it won't be a lot of money um, I don't mind paying tax my, my job is paid by taxes so I think taxes is good but that's it, it's one way of, of having a society work So taxes, okay. Uh, so I'm not making money off this channel. Just to be clear on that, I couldn't live off. I, I find it interesting when you look at some people that have like 700,000 new subscribers. They could probably live off it. And there are YouTubers that have like the Swedish YouTuber. She has around four, three hundred and fifty, four hundred thousand subscribers, and she can live off it. She actually paid her apartment, which is in central Stockholm, with the money she made off YouTube. So and that's pretty cool. Um, but this is, I mean, the stuff I do is not 
doesn't attract such a big audience and I'm not very professional at this and, and I don't have time to be very professional. I'm do this because I really enjoy doing it. So this is my passion and I want to share my passion, basically. Nothing else, I mean, I won't get rich of it. I don't want, I don't want, I actually don't want to spend, have this as a job. I, it, I, I mean, that would be really cool if you could have this, if I could have this as a job, but I, I can't and um, I think that's too, that would be not enough security. I need, if you have small kids, you need some sort of security a steady income and my job which I my real job which I really really enjoy and love too um, does that so this just and that helps me to do these things when I want to basically so so I'm not gonna do this as a job because that's probably not realistically feasible to do do it but I do enjoy it little spray there is going up across the field there working away so I can probably do oh so slightly less because the, the circumference of the this field is less than the second row second yeah the second row so second hand headland maybe I should say um, so we could I think we could do one more lap before we need to refill the cedar this is not fast. I don't think the ridge markers works out pretty good. Cool. I mean, actually, yeah, I make you follow it. Most definitely, you can follow it. Which is the point of it. So, planting way, planting potatoes, planting potatoes, potatoes. It's fun to plant. The hide worker for the harvesting the, the soybean field does cost a lot of money though. Like three hundred dollar euros in quite a short time. Uh, that's quite a substantial amount of euros going to watch that. We will get them back when we sell the uh, soybeans anyway, so it's not a problem but Next lap. Getting here, is I mean. Should I spray that field, number two field one, uh, since we're going? Actually, I no, I should wait because uh, it's fertilized once with a straw chop straw mod and then it's fertilized second time when when it planted the potatoes because this liquid um actually we'd see that if you look at the map you can see you get a second row here planting that one uh, and that just needs one more which we can do when we actually get something growing on it curious how to what's going on here ah, it's working away Slowly but surely, we need to get the end of the run, uh, runway, the end of the field there, and there's some other stuff. We need to clean it up when it's done with the ma mass. I wonder if we hopefully we could complete this field. Ah, well, uh, up to almost 30 minutes on this episode, so I'm gonna cut it short there. Um, not cut it short stop it there 30 minutes is not short okay um anyway i'm andy i want to thank you for watching this episode of the dodge pull the map pull the map for farming simulator 17 this is episode three it has been episode three and uh, we plant planting potatoes it seems like we're gonna plant potatoes forever so we might we'll probably do that the next episode too actually uh so i hope you enjoyed it if you have any sort of feedback please uh, put that in the comment section or so um, if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this episode please hit the like button leave a comment or share and I will see you next time just gonna do this turn here no darn it not that but it didn't hurt any
guess I'm turning it. Nope, good. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.